everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today we are looking at an APAC meal, a creamy chicken tetrazzini, and this was actually sent to me by uh, Sticky Fingers. So his link is in the description. It's It's been down there for a long time, so make sure you're checking those links in the description. There's a lot of helpful stuff down there, some uh, helpful links, some Amazon links, some... Uh, you know, my, all my favorite channels that I generally watch on YouTube, as well as Patreon, if you're interested in, uh, in contributing to the channel, Patreon is the place to do it. So the APAC meals are basically the civilian equivalent to the U.S. like military MRE. This one is packaged by the AmeriQual. APAC is uh, from AmeriQual. Now, this one is a bit vintage. We have a date code here of the 48th day of uh, 2009 so this is just about 10 years old now generally um, you know a USMRE is normally rated for about three to five years of shelf life now they can go beyond that I've had some that have been eight years old I've had some older and they've been fine but I've had some that that were maybe you know, four years old and were, were garbage so it's it's a mixed bag and you never quite know what you're gonna get so we're gonna go ahead and try this one out and uh, we'll, we'll see, you know, we'll just have to see. So first and foremost, obviously you have the card here, and this is basically, uh, uh, you know, just detailing what's in our, uh, actually I think that this might be, uh, yeah, this actually looks like the entire package of nutrition facts. It does say um, 1,140 calories so I imagine that's for the entire pack so just a shade under 1200 total calories here uh, let's go ahead and pop through some stuff so we've got our creamy chicken tetrazzini 37th day of 2009 in the uh, little cardboard package I'm gonna go ahead and open this up here real quick uh, and let's check the bag so the retour pouch looks fine there's a little discoloration here. I imagine that was from the writing. Well, the writing's on the other side, but there's some discoloration there, a little pink. But I imagine that has something to do with this. We'll see, but uh, there we go. Uh, you know, pack looks fine. It's not bloated or anything, so... Um, I am going to try out the FRH in this, but I have zero faith in it, so I'm probably just going to wind up boiling this package just so I have a hot meal. Here we have some sh uh, a shortbread cookie. Seals real nice there, so that should be in good condition. We have some uh, regular crackers. And again, nice solid seal there. Ha, sweet fig bar. Cool. That seems to be in good condition. Ah. Salt water. So uh, there are a couple uh, rations out there that do come with their own water. So APAC does pack a package of saline water. I actually made some up because uh, I didn't know it came with this. So I actually made some, uh, probably a little bit saltier than this, but some uh, salt solution. Uh, so we will try it with this. We're going to try it with what they give us here. So we'll see. And if not, eh, we'll just go a little crazy. All right. So we have a package of regular cheese spread. And the uh, thing about cheese spread is, unfortunately, it does discolor over time. Uh, but in, in a lot of cases, as long as it seals good, it does tend to hold its taste. Uh, this is about like on cockroach level. Oh, sweet osmotic raisins. <laughs> I actually haven't had any osmotic uh, products in a while. I found that the raisins are not as bad as the cranberries, but because of the age of these, I'm a little bit scared. But we're, we're going to try it anyway. <clears throat> we have a spoon. And not like your general MRE spoons, but actually this is a pretty heavy-duty spoon. It's not very long, but it's, it's uh, pretty heavy-duty. I think that'll be a good spoon. We've got a moist towelette. Ah, yeah, fantastic. Little packet of pepper. Very good job, folks. Gotta love that pepper. No salt. Huh, that's interesting. So you have salt water, but no actual salt in here. Well, I'm not complaining uh, at all. 
But yeah, no salt. Just pepper. I'm good with the pepper. And then finally we have our FRH. Oh, almost uh, skipped this bad boy. One of my favorites, lemonade beverage base. I, li I like it in these little cylinder packets. They tend to mix a lot better and they taste darn good. And you can uh, stretch this out in a lot of water too. These, uh, I think these are generally made for, uh, okay, so 20 ounces. My cup that I generally use for my uh, videos, my uh, folded cup, uh, is 10 ounces. So technically I can get two full cups out of this and that makes me a happy camper. So we have our APAC uh, branded FRH. Doesn't really look like fine. You know, we don't really have any filings in the bottom of the bag. So I am going to, we're going to, we're going to just try it out. I don't know if it'll do anything. If it doesn't do anything, it's cool. I am going to boil this uh, anyway. So we're just we're just gonna try it out. We're gonna see if the old FRH has any gas left in the tank. Um, like I said, I don't really feel like it will. You know, it's about 10 years old, and uh, I don't have much faith in, in that. But again, it could surprise me. So, a pack, you better surprise me. And another kind of cool thing about this is, so this is basically, I would assume, like the exact amount of water, you know, that would go in between the fill lines. So that's kind of cool too. Takes away a lot of the guesswork. Oh wait, there's no fill lines. No. So yeah, this is the exact amount of water they want you to add to it. So I'm going to add the saline solution, our little salt water, and we will see what this bad boy can do. Go ahead and lay it flat for a bit. Oh wow, I hear it. We're gonna get a reaction here, folks. Yeah, wow. This is even faster than some of the military ones like new, oh wow, it's getting hot. Oh, okay. Let's get our box. Wow we. okay. I can't believe that. APAC, awesome man, I gotta get some more of these. Okay, all right, I was wrong. I was wrong. So we're gonna go ahead and let this go. You already see it puffing up, man, it's going. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this aside just at an angle on a rock or something, and uh, then we'll we'll come back. We'll come back and uh, take a peek. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Give a little bit of a vent, because this thing is going, baby. Wow. Little steam, little steam for you. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'm done playing, so I'm gonna let this sit for you know about 10 minutes, give or take, and then I will be right back with you and we'll take a look at the rest of the food. All right, guys, and we are back here. Uh, I still have my main in heater. It is still maintaining good heat, but I figured we just sort of open up the rest of the stuff that is on our tray, and then we'll, uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So let's start with our raisins. These are the ones I'm a little scared of. They're always just so darn sticky. Not very tasty. Oh, they just don't have a very pleasant smell either, you know? But, I mean, they look fine. Very sticky, though. What? I'll try, like, one of those later. <laughs> try our fig bar. Oh, let's see. Okay. Now, I like fig bars. I know some people don't, but I do. So you get two of these bad boys. They look to be in pretty good shape. They smell fine. Definitely give off a pretty strong smell of uh, figs. So I, I think, we're, think we're okay there. Let's go ahead and open our cracker, see if we can't get that, that little hiss. It was there, but it was just quick. Smell fine. Crackers generally do last a long time as long as they maintain that seal, but when they're rancid, you'll know. You'll know when crackers are rancid. Because they don't last forever. Alright. Very tight package there, but they look to be in really good shape. 
Very good shape overall. We'll go ahead and just sort of break those up a little bit because we got to check out our cheese spread next. Nice. Right, so I need. I like to knead this a little bit. Just uh, you know, you'll get a little bit of separation in there, but. Okay, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's discolored uh, quite a bit. Um, it smells fine though. When in doubt, follow your nose. It works. But yeah, it, it should be okay. But it's it's not gonna be. You know, it's it's not gonna be. You know, exactly like you you remember it you know, in a new ration. But again, that's what I'm talking about. These things do discolor over time. <clears throat> and finally, let's go ahead and take a look at our shortbread cookie. Let's see if we get a hiss off of it. Nope. Okay. There we go. Very delicate cookies, but oh yeah, look at that nice browning. Oh yeah. Smells good. Smells a little artificial, kind of like packaging, but uh, you know, nothing, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. So we should be good there. Finally, let's go ahead and release the hound here and get this, get this out. So there's still a pretty good amount of heat coming off of that. Actually, it's still nice and warm. Um, ouch! Goodness. Yeah, we got a winner. I like these. Uh, I like these APAC ration here. Goodness, these seem to be pretty darn, pretty darn good. Um, you know, the meal's not like hot, hot. You know, I, I didn't expect that to happen, but it seems to be, you know, at least warm, which is what we're shooting for. <laughs> Things a little wet. Trying to get my fingers on it. There we go. Ah, okay. Okay. First little look there, I'm going to smell it. Mm, smells good. <laughs> oh, just a nice little block. Break it up there. So, uh, you know, obviously we got some noodles. There's chicken. Uh, maybe some. Peppers, I would assume. I didn't really look at the package, but it's okay. We'll, we'll eat as we go. So anyway, just looking at the plate here, overall, quite a bit of food. You know, a dessert, uh, you know, a kind of a fruit. <laughs> a little bar, your uh, crackers and cheese, turkey tetrazzini, man. This would be a pretty, pretty darn good overall meal. Very carb heavy, but pretty darn good meal uh, overall so I'm just gonna dive right in here I got this big chunk of chicken get a little bit of the noodle and let's go let's go to town here guys mmm tastes good bit bland um, chicken is basically what you get out of a can not tough or anything but it's fine definitely dry very dry. Get a little bit more of the pasta here on its own. Noodles aren't uh, mushy, but they're definitely done. There's just not a lot of taste to it. I'm going to go ahead and add the pepper just for academic purposes. But yeah, it just uh, doesn't have much flavor. You know, maybe a little hot sauce could bring this up. I actually didn't grab my bottle before I started looking, but uh, I might do that when I go to finish this up after the video. But let's try it with a little pepper. Yeah, doesn't really do much. So, pretty bland meal here, but it's fine. It's, you know, fine. <laughs> I, I guess I could complain on it, but I'm, I'm not going to. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll go around the horn here. I am going to try one raisin. 
because I really just don't like these. I know what they taste like. I don't need old raisins. What? Yeah, I spit that out. Um, yeah, that's not good anymore. Um, luck. Trying to get it out of my teeth. Yeah, it. I don't think it's necessarily mold. Because I just, I've never enjoyed the taste of osmotic anything. But yeah, not good. Would not recommend. Zero out of five stars. Yuck. Hopefully this cookie does me a little bit better. Okay, never mind. This is not a delicate cookie. Holy crap. It's darn near hard tack. Woo! Yeah, that appears to be fine. Um, not super sweet. Just a very basic cookie. Um, but it's held up really well. Doesn't really taste like package, even though it sort of had that kind of artificial smell. But no, it's good. It's a good little cookie. Try a little nip of cracker here. Yep, cracker's good. You know, not, you know, salty like your saltines, even though they kind of look like it. Um, but yeah, just a good, good overall cracker. I'm going to take a nip of this cheese spread here. See what it tastes like. Yeah, tastes fine. Might look a little different, but, you know, because it's usually that bright orange. Um, it, it still tastes okay, you know, salty, cheesy, fake cheesy, <laughs> but no, it's still pretty good. Let's go ahead and try our fig bar. Hmm. 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 Okay. It's crunchy. That's interesting. So... You can kind of see it. I don't know. I can kind of see it. Sorry. Maybe one day I'll update this camera. If you can see the glint. So the insides of that have crystallized. The sugar. And it's just, uh, it's crunchy. It's interesting. Doesn't taste bad, but it's a little odd. So, one thing I didn't do yet was uh, put together my beverage. I don't think I've ever really done this. So I actually measured out 20 ounces of water. And I'm going to, you know, actually do this in accordance with the instructions. I'm going to add this powder to 20 ounces of water. And just kind of see how that works as opposed to, because normally I'd, I'll just put it in the 10 ounces of water and, you know, complain that it, I could have watered it down. <laughs> so I'm going to add this to 20 ounces of water and see... See what that does for me. Um, you know, the powder seemed to be, you know, held up pretty good. Well, looks like it might have a couple little floaties here. There's, you know, it is what it is. You're going to have that. All right. And then we'll pour it into our cup. And we'll just kind of see how that, how that tastes. So again, this is, this is proper by the package, 20 in 20 ounces of water, lemonade, powder. Ah, that's nice. That's the, that that's exactly the way I like it. It's not super crazy strong, but it's got enough of that flavor to carry you. So yeah, very good. Very good. Well, I guess I've tried everything now. Um overall, bit disappointed in the main. Um I like Tetrazzini. It can be very good. This is very bland. Um, could use salt. Could use more pepper. Could use Tabasco sauce. Could use a personality. I don't know. But uh, it's dry. It is what it is. But it'll get you through if you need it. Stay away from the raisins. Old raisins, old cranberries, just stay away from them. They just don't last. Cookie was good. Albeit a bit artificial. 
Crackers were still good. Cheese is good, although a bit discolored, bit off-putting. Fig bars have, you know, the sugar in there is definitely crystallized, so it makes it crunchy. Um, but the flavor profile is fine. And uh, very impressed, again, by our heater. It's still hot. I mean, my God, it's still, it's, it's very hot. Um, so great job on the heater and very cool to have the, uh, the salt water already in the ration. Oh, and the drink was good too. <laughs> God, I forgot it twice. So anyway, folks, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know, just thank you again to Sticky Fingers, man, for, uh, for uh, sending us the ration. You're the man. I appreciate it. And if any of you haven't subscribed to his channel, make sure you do. He puts out some great videos. Uh, make sure you're checking the links in the description. Uh, Patreon is down there if you're interested in contributing to the channel. That's the place to go. You can also, if you, I don't know, if you have something you want to send me to review on the channel, my P.O. box is down below as well. Uh, you know, if you have a ration sitting around and you just want to see it on YouTube, uh, you know, me eating it, uh, preferably don't poison it before you send it to me, but if you want to send something to me, the P.O. box is down there. And, uh, yeah, guys, just thank you for stopping by, and hopefully you have a great rest of your day. See ya!